All right, so in front of me today, you can see that there are a selection of septarian nodules. And I thought I would discuss the difference between a septarian nodule or a nodule and a concretion. They're actually two different things, although they're used almost interchangeably throughout the world, they're used interchangeably, but they show a formational difference. So what we call septarian nodules are actually concretions. And concretions are different than nodules in the fact that a nodule is usually got a hard outer shell with a different material on the inside. So this is a, a Moki marble, famous from here in Utah. They're ironstone nod, uh, nodules. And uh, so they have the ironstone shell on the outside and then the inside is sandstone. And so it shows a formational change in them and that's why they are two different things. That said, here we have a bunch of septarian nodules. Septarian concretions. I should put concretions in parentheses. I don't know how to do that while we're talking. So uh, these are all from different places in the world, but most of them are from here in Utah. Uh, Utah is famous for these ones that have the nice big yellow crystals inside uh, with big cavities. And uh, sometimes here in Utah, you get inclusions inside these. So these form around something. And then as, as that something inside is, is moved back and forth, one theory is that as they are moved back and forth along the shoreline by uh, water moving, that they would roll up and uh, roll into a mud ball, uh, similar to a snowball effect. And so you'd get these little tiny things that would snowball into these big nodules. It's kind of hard to imagine how some of these that weigh three and 400 pounds of mud were being rolled back and forth along the shoreline. Like I said, it's one theory. Uh, so as, as sometimes they were filled with uh, algae and the algae would decay and, and desiccate and, and eventually rot away leaving an open cavity. Given the compression of the weight, uh, the forces of the weight, they get compressed and, and smashed. That's where you get all these shatter lines um, where they're all brecciated. That's where the rock was brecciated, shattered, and then cemented back together with the yellow calcite. So you get a few different things in here. You get the yellow calcite and then in the Utah ones you get this light brown siderite crust around the outside. You can see around all the the, the shattered rock, which is actually a, a limestone-ish type of mud. The ones from Morocco get a black siderite around them, and so that's how you can distinguish them. So inside the cavities, uh, sometimes they nucleate around other things besides algae. Here is a little crab inside there. We're going to show that up close here in a minute. Uh, sometimes you'll find uh, ammonites, uh, clams, uh, all kinds of, of shell fossil stuff inside of them that they've nucleated around and then formed. The hollow ones are suspected to have formed around algae. <clears throat> so so uh, other things you get inside there is this is a barite cube that is coated with amethyst. This is all pyrite and siderite, the black in there. And so and then you can see the crab. This is a septarian nodule, not from this area that these come from. These are all from down by Orderville. This one is from down by uh, Price. You can see it's a septarian nodule. It weighed about 400, between four and 500 pounds. We couldn't move it. Uh, there was four of us, four guys, and we couldn't even make it roll on the ground. And so we broke it open, and you can see that it was full of these uh, barites and calcite crystals. And then there's some uh, little, uh, probably, uh, girthite crystals in there, but they could be siderite. They're too small to really tell. So these ones are also from here in Utah, but these ones are from uh, down by uh, Huntington, a little south of Huntington, Elmo. Uh, nope, south, further south than that. Uh, so these ones are famous for having these little red, red areas in them and, and, and the red calcite, which is an iron stained calcite. This is one that looks very much like a Utah one, except the calcite is, is nearly white and it's from Alaska. And then of course you get the, uh, the Moroccan ones that are very prevalent on the market. So, all right, thanks for watching.